So this year, Samsung launched the Exynos 2100 SoC and it was a massive upgrade over the flagship Exynos chipset of last year. It was based on the 5 nanometer manufacturing process and also the CPU arrangement was similar to that of Snapdragon 888 with one high performance Cortex X1 CPU core. Now, while the CPU of Exynos 2100 was impressive on paper, there were still some issues with it. For example, it was not able to sustain the performance due to high thermal throttling and as the comparisons showed, the Snapdragon 888 maintained a much higher and stable sustained CPU performance. Also in terms of the GPU, as we know, the Adreno 660 was better than the Mali GPU of Exynos chip. So considering all those things in mind, it seems like Samsung has made some major upgrades to its next Exynos flagship, the Exynos 2200. Today, Ice Universe, who is a very reliable source for all sort of smartphone leaks, especially Samsung related leaks, shared the specifications of Exynos 2200 on Twitter. Speaking of the specs, there are two massive upgrades this time, first is in the CPU and the other is in the GPU. So in terms of the CPU, the Exynos 2200 is getting the new Cortex X2 CPU core this time. Compared to the Cortex X1, the X2 offers up to 14% better performance and that is with the same frequency and the same manufacturing process. This means with a higher frequency and a more efficient manufacturing process, the CPU core can offer much better performance than the X1. The Cortex X2 also offers double the machine learning performance over the X1 and ARM says that the single thread performance of the Cortex X2 is up to 40% better than a laptop CPU such as the Core i5 1135G7. Speaking of other CPU cores, there are four performance based cores clocked at 2.8 GHz which are expected to be the new Cortex A710 but that is not yet confirmed. And finally there are four efficiency focused cores clocked at 2.2 GHz. These are supposed to be the new Cortex A510 cores. So yeah, the CPU is almost completely upgraded this time around and hopefully it will offer a much better sustained performance than the CPU of Exynos 2100. Coming to the GPU now, you might be familiar with the fact that Samsung has partnered with AMD for the GPU of its next Exynos flagship. So no more Mali GPUs in the high-end Exynos chips which is a good thing. The AMD GPU of Exynos 2200 has a frequency of 1250 MHz or 1.25 GHz. Now this GPU frequency is higher than that of Adreno 660 which has a peak frequency of around 900 MHz. As far as the manufacturing process is concerned, there is no confirmed news yet but it is expected to be a 4 nanometer manufacturing process. And on the same process, the Snapdragon 898 will be built. Recently, you might have seen the news of Exynos 2200 being benchmarked on Geekbench and while the scores are good, it is worth mentioning that that benchmark shows that the CPU cores are not clogged at the highest clock speed that they support. For example, instead of 2.9 GHz, the Cortex X2 is clogged at 2.59 GHz. The same was the case with the other cores, so in short, when the Exynos 2200 finally comes out and when it is benchmarked, the scores are going to be much higher than that benchmark. So yeah, that's all about the Exynos 2200. What are your thoughts? Will the Exynos 2200 be able to go head to head with the Snapdragon 898 or will it again fall short in some areas despite being great on paper? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.